on you know your spiritual journey and you're really you're doing the work as you and I were talking about people that choose not to do the work um, people that refuse to do the work but when you start doing it you really set yourself apart and then something happens something really weird happens uh, two things one there starts to be this gap um, and Snoop Dogg actually talks about in one of his videos a gap between his friends and his family as he started to escalate you know his career um, well, a gap starts to exist between you and other people around you um, where they are vibrating on a low frequency. They're 3D. They're really, really heavy. And this right. isn't judgment. Don't be getting all in your judging and judging hands, okay? Um, these are just facts. Spitting the facts. Um, so they're operating at a lower frequency. Your thoughts are locked to your higher, your goals are higher, and so there is this gap exists. Um, well, um, you, uh, one of the forms of self-love and self-care is um, to recognize the gap and don't feel guilty because of the gap. Right, exactly. A, a long time I thought, oh God, I got goosebumps, got goosebumps y'all. <laughs> a long time um, I would feel, and sometimes I still do, I feel guilty. Um, uh, Catherine, you don't hang around with us anymore. Catherine, you're so different. I don't right. even recognize mm -hmm. you. Um, and I would, I would almost feel like a survivor still or something. Or you know, people are dealing with, it. yeah, people are dealing with all kind of drama and trauma in their life. And I'm over here just happy as a pig in slop. Right, yeah. right. And yeah. and unfortunately, you can't save everyone. You can save yourself. But if you continue to stay in that phase with those people living and operating only in 3D, all well, it does is take you down. Right. And if, and you will show physical symptoms of it like I was just discussing this earlier you know with a friend if someone is still in 3d while you are now descending into the fifth dimension you're going to have those physically painful symptoms sometimes maybe your thyroid will shut down maybe your your body things you want you don't want to have sex because the men are still in a or the women whichever way you go are still in a lower vibration so like the Jewish uh, leader was saying you know uh and that's what I call it uh, <laughs> You, you really, just don't take it personally. Just try to be as happy as you can right now. You're all gonna see some of your friends go away because they're in a different zone. Show them compassion, pray for them, but don't become enemies. This isn't the time to do no. it. You're just in two separate phases of things and everything is gonna be okay. So recognize the gap, but it's not your place to close the gap. No. I told my children the other day that my new middle name and last name is Boundaries Boundaries. Catherine Boundaries Boundaries. So it's not my place to close the gap, it's their place. So I'm over here, if they choose to come over here, that's fine, um, that's great. But I am not gonna close the gap and stay in that space anymore. Um, because you become the energy that you surround yourselves with. Yeah, yeah, and that, Go and bring it full circle. That is another form of love. That's another form of self care. Be careful of the energy that you surround yourself with. Right, and just keep it sexy, as sexy as possible. You know, as we go through these next few months, especially with the new moon charts and everything, maybe yeah. some of your exes might come back, or you uh, have illuminating thoughts about your exes, or you know, old memories, even family members, you know, that you love and stuff like that. Know that those things are not happening right now. Some of you, some of us, are just fighting ghosts in our heads. But love yourself through it. Take the baths. Go outside and play. You know, turn a cartwheel in the middle of, of the room. But over the next few weeks, I'm telling you, 21 days, fall especially in love with yourselves. We're going to see some really heavy things coming down the pipe. Okay? Stay in love with you at this point. Hang on to you no matter what. For the next 21 days you'll see what we're talking about okay. yeah and take note starting today because as we discussed today is venus day venus just shifted into taurus a few days ago and today is the new moon in taurus and venus also moves taurus as well um that is all about as we know taurus is about abundance and finances but it's very much in alignment with love passion, excitement, yes. seduction, um, nurturing, and, and it's, it's a very sacral chakra energy. It's, it's Taurus people, I'm taking applications. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, Taurus people definitely have
have that alignment of passion in every way that they are forming. So for you, take a note now while we're in Taurus season, I mean, it's a trifecta right now, um, and know that we're shifting into Gemini season, which then gets you all up in your head. So enjoy this time right now. And I love Gemini's. <laughs> Gemini's, I am taking applications. <laughs> Blah blah blah. So get your energy up. You know, get you know as much of intimate time as you possibly can uh, with your significant other right now to make some plans and make sure that you put the air and the fire into those plans. Beginning at the you know beginning of Gemini season for everyone. And have fun. And have fun. Have fun. Enjoy. Um, my my spirit guide gave me a one little quick tip before since we're talking about you know having fun um, and possibly welcoming in um, a new partner. Uh, let's make sure that the um, our environment, our space, our body um, is in a, a, a good place to welcome in new people. Um, and one of the ways that you can do that, and this is going to get a little um, maybe TMI um, or maybe inappropriate, but um, if you've been through a bad breakup, if you're still holding on to an old relationship, you mentioned people coming back around so we still have those cords oh we have a cord cutting ritual that we do here which yes. is fantastic um but if you're still feeling attachments especially your sacral your, your, if you're still feeling attachments um one thing that i advise my clients to do is to do a physical cleanse okay and so we know that that person is attached to you emotionally and spiritually so emotionally and spiritually you're going to want to do a cord cutting ritual but let's, let's just be really honest here, okay? So we're talking old relationships. If you've had sex with this person, they have literally been inside your body. Your body now has parts of them, especially if you've had unprotected sex. You literally have parts of them <laughs> inside you. Okay, so right. what we want to... teach an eggplant. Yes, there we go. Oh, I didn't even mean to bring that back around. Or think Mr. Circle. Smith in the Matrix when they touched you and all yeah. of a sudden, you yeah. know, yeah. you know. So, from science, thank you, science. Um, we know that every uh, about every 90 days, almost every cell in your body is remade. But it takes nine entire years for every single cell in your body to be remade. Okay, that's another reason that after about nine years, you feel like a new person. Anyway, and so, so it symbolizes. Oh yes! Oh my God! I didn't even think about that. And oh. the beginning of another one. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. see how it's all related, y'all. See how everything's holistic. Mind, body, spirit. You can't just work on one. Anyway, um, this would be a really good time to do a physical cleanse. Okay, and you can do that, you know, in lots of different ways. There's kits for that. There's, you know, seven days of fruit and fruit juice smoothies. But I would do, uh, even if it's a three-day thing, um, you could do a, a weekend. You could do a little uh, a physical cleanse or a treat for yourself. And then, bam, you've got a clean environment. You've helped detach, physically detach those cords. You've given um, uh, even more energy to spiritually and mentally detaching those cords. And now, bam, you're ready to go and enjoy this new for us. <laughs> yes, very much so. Any other tips before we I sign would, off? I would just say a cautionary tip for those who love love so much. And this is your season to love love and to enjoy and to have fun on you on a normal day. This is like you on a 10th degree, okay? For those of you, be careful that you are not just falling in love with the idea and the potential of someone in your life and that you're falling in love with the reality of what this person is bringing into your life. Because I've often had, and we all have had readings with clients who are dealing with that issue. They're, they're in love with the idea of the the prospect of this person, but the reality is not actual. Pay attention to those red flags and green flags, okay? Because sometimes you just wait for the other shoe to drop, and the other shoe ain't dropping, and you're and you don't you're afraid of a blessing. So pay attention to the red flags, don't ignore them, but accept the green flags. And for the women, I want you to relearn the way that you walk. <gasps> oh! The way that you move. 
face. Okay? Yes. Let me show you something. Yo, yes, 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 yes. Show it, show it, show it. Show it. Show it. Oh, this yes. is all of 61. Yes. Okay? Yes. 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 My mother. But you will never see me walk in through space like this. Oh, right? yeah. no, you no, need to no. walk like this Taurus moon is right. really. Look exactly. at her. Shift those hips. Shift it. You understand? Yes. I'm proud yes. yes. You know. Shift that. Move a little bit for them. Let them right. know that you're a girl. If you're right. a man, throw those shoulders back and show us your masculinity. This is the bull season. Let yes. us see what yes. the bulls are right now. Men, shift your you, walk. You know Deepen your that body voice. And your energy uh, has a conductive vibes. So Do it. Just move with that. Move with it. Yes. Okay? If this old lady is saying that to you, that feels sexy. And I'm surrounded by these sexy priestesses and everything else. This is tried, tested, and true. We really do wish.